This is John for Global Woman Sports Radio. Today I have the pleasure of having Mad Man Pondo. How are you, sir? I'm great. How you doing, man? Good, man. It's good to see you. I haven't seen you in a little while. You're looking awesome there, pal. Uh, it's a war every day. Every day it's a war. Well, you're winning it, buddy. So the reason I got you here today is I want to talk to you about Epic Wrestling Entertainment presents Girl Fight Jawbreaker on September 26th. September 22nd or 26th, excuse me. Yeah, 26th. 26. Could you uh, tell us tell us what is Girl Fight? Well, uh, Girl Fight was created by me about seven years ago. Um, and I almost gave it up. Situation happened where I almost gave it up, but all the girls said, no, keep it open. We're all having a good time. And uh, seems like they're still having a good time. So still going on so uh we had a show before all this covid crap and it got canceled something happened with the building so now we're in a new building um i failed to remember the address of that uh, we'll, we'll put it up on the screen okay all right and then uh so girl fight is back september 26 with the main event of uh mickey knuckles versus Famous, uh, fabulous Freebird Terry Gordy daughter Miranda Gordy. So already it's a uh, kicking off to be a good start. That's insane. I, I, you know, Terry Gordy, his daughter. Obviously, she, you know, she's she's as tough as can be. And Mickey Knuckles, I love her dearly, but boy, she, boy, Miranda's got her hands full with Mickey. That's true. That's why. That's why I put that together. That that's going to be a battle, and that's what it's exactly what it's going to be. So, how many matches are on the card? Do you know yet? Is it decided yet? Yeah, seven matches all together. We got Billy Starks versus Sky Blue, um, Megan De Francisco versus Cameron Brene. Uh, uh, I'm going to fuck this, screw this up pretty bad. Um, uh, Tootie Lynn Ramsey versus. Uh, uh, well, you oh can send God. me. You can send me the list, and I'll put it up there. Yeah, I'll do that, man. I get hit in the head too much. I forget crap too quick. <laughs> Not a problem, man. That's that's why I'm here. You know, we'll we'll put the yeah. we'll put an overlay up there, and we'll 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 make it good. So, what could people expect? I mean, it's women fighting. Is it all the same? Is it just all wrestling matches? Are there any special, uh, um, you know, attractions with it or uh, well, well, you know, stipulations? Already. Um, it being an all girl show, everybody thinks, okay, there's going to be a bunch of TNA, a uh, bunch of lingerie matches and all that crap. But here at Girl Fight, we don't do that. We, our, uh, mascot is Rosie the Riveter showing that girls can do it too. So we don't thrive on the TNA-ness of it. I mean, we don't mind it. Don't get me wrong, but we don't thrive on it. And, uh. The girls get out there and and they put on a show just like the guys would, and that's what girl fights all about is is enhancing the girls. Uh, this time, um, the ring announcer is a girl, the, the refs are girls, and the girls wrestling are girls. So, I'm doing my best to get an all girls company. The only thing I, I'm failing is two girl commentators. So, if any girls out there feel that they can do a great commentary job, get a hold of me. We'll put it out there. Hey, if people watch, people people will contact you. What made you originally do this? Because you're well ahead of the curve in terms of, you know, now a lot of companies are doing the, the all-women thing. What made you start this? Uh, back in the day, I was dating Sarah Bridges, Crazy Mary Dobson, WWE Sarah Logan, whatever you want to call her. And she was having a, a rough time networking with other girls or you know i wanted to give her better experience by wrestling girls better than she was and there there was not that many girls in this area so girl fight all got started because of her but when she left the company it's not like it stopped it just kept on going and it is what it is today and it's gotten some pretty good notoriety girl fight wrestling i'll, I'll go to other shows and people will ask me about it and Sometimes 
people won't even know I'm the promoter and be talking about it in the locker room. And then I'll tell them, Hey, I, that's mine. So we must be doing all right. If stuff like that happens. No, you're certainly doing great. If you got Miranda, Gordy and Mickey Knuckles as your main event, you're definitely doing something right, my friend. That's right. But, you know, we, we're going to talk to some of the uh, women wrestlers going forward in the future. Um, before I wrap this up today, though, I do want to mention your book, Memoirs of a Madman, available on Amazon. Um, amazing and, book. And if, if you want a, an autographed copy, uh, go to eatsleepwrestle.com and talk to John Cosper about it. I've talked to John several times over the internet. He's a great guy. The book, just so everyone knows, the book's amazing. It's not just about wrestling, although wrestling's a major part of it. But you you got great stories in there about your life, about other entertainers. You got a funny story there about uh, eating a cheeseburger in front of David Blaine. It's a great story from from your childhood to now. Um, I got to tell you, Pondo. When I heard that you were going to come into Resistance Pro, I, I heard of the legend of, of Madman Pondo. And you're one of the few people that kind of intimidated me in terms of asking for an interview. And I got to say, you're one of the, the most professional people I've ever met and one of the most professional people I've ever, ever interviewed. And I wanted to take this time also to thank you publicly for everything you've done. You, you always did interviews with me. You were always great with me. And I really appreciate it. And I encourage everyone to come and see Girl Fight. I appreciate the kind words, but come on, John. You know I'm a jack off. I just like to have well, a good time. You are. If you're a nice, you're a nice guy. I don't want to kill the 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 legend of Pondo because inside the ring, you're you're the the baddest dude I've ever seen. You could take more punishment and deliver more punishment than anybody I've ever seen. Outside the ring bad. and in the locker room, you're truly a professional. And you're in. I'm really happy that I've gotten to meet you and to know you. Thank you, man. Thank you. I'm glad I got to meet you too. So now that I'm done with the sappy stuff, is there any place people could find out about Girl Fight? Yes. If you go on uh, Facebook and search Girl Fight Wrestling, the, the page will jump right up. And that's where you can find out about all our future events. We're right back in the church October the 17th. And then we Girl Fight will be in Mount Vernon, Illinois, October the 24th. Awesome, man. Well, we're going to catch up with you before uh, before that stuff, uh, you know, hits again. But we're going to we're going to do some updates. Hopefully, talk to some of the women. Pondo, I really appreciate your time, and we're going to we're going to do our best to get the word out there about girl fight wrestling. All right, man. Thank you so much, and thank you to everybody. Thanks, Pondo. All right, buddy. <laughs>